Let's continue with the issue of um, the stress, the stress concept. As I told you many times, this is maybe the most important concept for a mechanical or civil engineer, the stress. And it's, it has been so since lots of years ago, since the beginning of engineering, since the beginning of the de development of the concept of stress. And also engineers try to get procedures to understand what is the stress state at every point. So they want to play around the concept of stress and visualize, so to speak, the stress concept as much as possible as engineers traditionally have done. They want to reflect the physical reality in something that is measurable, understandable. So this brought a long time the geometrical interpretations of the stress state. The stress is a tensor, that's it, physically, mathematically. But the stress is also forces, real forces per unit of surface in certain directions. And that is what we want to visualize. And that's not easy, because it's a tensor. We have six components of stresses. But, OK, uh, engineers have done lots of efforts along history to provide interpretations, visualizations of the stress state. And this brings, up, brings us to the concept of Mohr circle. Mohr circle was developed by Otto Mohr, a scientist, German scientist, in, in 1982 who was very I mean, uh, acquainted with um, uh, geometrical interpretations. And then it, it, it turns out that it could be applied to concepts other than, than, than stresses. In fact, it can be applied to any uh, symmetric second order tensor, this geometrical concept. But of course, we'll talk about that, as it was developed at the beginning by Otto Mohr and these are the concept of Mohr circle. They are representation of the stress states. They are circles, you know, here, circles. This is for 3D cases, and this is simplification for 2D cases. And they are representations of a stress states. Scientists want to know, well, is it possible that this point uh, has a stresses higher than 200 or higher than 100? I am concerned with the maximum stress at all orientations of this point. And this can be obtained with, rapid, with a rapid uh, view of this geometrical representation. We can grasp the relations between the stresses for a given point. It's always for a given point. And this is the goal of the Mohr circle. And that's why it's part of the engineering background that I think we have not to lose. Maybe now we could do using, using uh, I mean, um, multimedia representation, we can do something similar. But this is part of the way of thinking of engineers. And it has been so for a long time. And I think it's good that it's going to be also uh, for, for, for times coming. 